Welcome back YouTube, Nick here bringing you another how-to video. We'll be filling the rear tires on a Kubota L3301 tractor. To do this, you're going to need to buy a few things that are readily available at Harbor Freight or on Amazon. What you will need to purchase is a tire valve adapter kit. We got this one on Amazon and then we bought a Harbor Freight drill pump. To get the fluid from the drill pump into the tire, you'll want a nice short section of hose and then you'll also need another section of hose as an uptake. After that, you just need to pick up a large amount of solvent for the ballast. The Kubota 11 to 24 rear tires hold around 24 gallons when filled to the 75% mark. As you see in the manual, this mark is when the valve stem is in the vertical 12 o'clock position. We bought windshield wiper fluid because it is both good in cold resistance and quite affordable when buying 50 gallons. Now that you have all the components you need, it's time to get into filling the tires. Step one is to jack up the rear of the tractor and put it on jack stands. Next, we screw down the drill pump to a 4x4 to make it more stable. After this, you will remove the inner section of the valve stem from the outer section. This is going to let all of the air out, but also give us a nice wide opening to push the fluid in through. Once the air has been removed, we will attach the valve stem adapter and the hose it is connected to. From there, we will attach the outtake hose to the drill pump. Then we will connect the intake hose on the other side of the pump and drop that into our container for the fluid. What we used was an old styrofoam cooler. You could use a five gallon bucket, just use something that's clean. Now that everything is set up, we'll add some fluid to the container and put the drill on the pump. Once everything was connected, I noticed we had a leak on the intake side of the pump. We took it apart and added some Teflon to prevent this. This was an old section of hose that we cut, so it wasn't a surprise. Now that we got the leak fixed, it's time to fill the tires. When you spin the drill pump, sometimes it doesn't want to prime very well. There's an air bleeder on this tire valve adapter, so you'll just bump that a few times until you see some fluid come out, and then you should be flowing good. From here, it is rinse and repeat until you have the tire full. As fluid gets pumped out of the container, you'll continue to fill it. Over time, the tire will build pressure and you'll have to stop pumping to allow it to gas off. What we noticed is the pump would start to stall and pump less good, then we had stopped, let the air bleed off, and then resumed the process. Each time, you may have to press the little bleeder on the tire valve adapter to get it going again, but once you get the hang of it, this process is super easy. Some people fill their tires to less than 75%. To do this, you'll just rotate it to the valve stem being at whatever fill level you want, if you're filling it full, put the valve stem at the top and then keep filling until you're around the amount of gallons you think you need. Once the tractor actually gets full, you'll notice that if you stop pumping, the fluid will start back bleeding out. This is just it leveling down to the valve stem. If you don't know how much fluid your tire takes, just Google it, put Messick's fill chart and it will tell you the exact amount of gallons. Add a little bit extra for hose and spillage and you should be golden. From here, we let it back drain until fluid quit coming out. Then I remove the hose adapter and let it trickle out the valve stem. Make sure your wheel is in the vertical position and then you'll be ready to put the core back in and inflate it. From this point going forward, whenever you add air to your tire, you're going to want to make sure your valve stem is in the vertical position or else when you press in the valve stem core, some fluid will shoot out. And once you get the tire reinflated, you're done. That's all there is to adding liquid ballast. If this video has been helpful, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you the next time our equipment breaks.